Real quick before we jump into the video guys, for the rest of this year I'm going to be on a fundraising campaign to raise a minimum of a thousand pounds for the Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital. For more information on the charity and what it does and for the donation links, please look in the description below. And thank you all for your continued support. Enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Right by my teacher and house and we're back once again with a brilliant diamond and shining bow Nuzlocke co-op with the Quiver Dance legend and resident Snorlax himself, Mr. Burns. How you doing, my dude? I'm good. Just got a bit of a horsey cough, a horse, horsey throat today because I've beaten the football. Yeah, uh, because I'm, I'm his team actually won a game for once. Uh, so <laughs> that, that happened. For once. <laughs> for once, you know. For once. Oh, dear. But football jokes aside, of course, some of you may have noticed from the last episode that we have completely switched up our teams because we are actually pretty overleveled for Candace if we used our regular squads. So today is going to be the episode of bringing in the second string for a little bit because we can. So I figured we might as well. So let's go through the teams as always. Leading away for me is going to be the one Pokemon that's going to carry this team. Uh, Magistine the Manaphy. Uh, the Mild Nature, of course, with Hydration, with Tail Glow Surf, Grass Knot, and Ice Beam. This won't be too handy for Candace, but it will be pretty good for later on, so I kept it. Uh, we have Karate Kid the Metatite that actually died at the end of last episode and got revived while I was leveling it. Uh, but it's got pure power with a terrible nature, why am I not surprised? With Psybeam Detect, Drain Punch, and Face Palm. We have Tina Whoop the Cricketune with the Naughty Nature, which is perfect for Tiny Tina. Uh, the, with the boosted attack is always nice, with Slash Thing, Struggle Bug, and X Scissor. We have Skywalker, our newly hatched Riolu, that I hatched off stream, but I'm trying to get to a Lucario. Uh, it's got the Soothe Bell, and I've been running around with it, so hopefully it'll be pretty close to being happy enough soon. With the Hasty Nature and Steadfast, which is not its best ability, but we'll take it anyway. With Quick Attack, Worker, Brock Smash, and Metal Claw, please give me a better fighting move. Wolf Moon is back, now a Luxray, of course, with the Bashful Nature her and Rivalry, you, with Volt Switch Bites, Spark, and Charge. And last but by no means least, Warm Blood is on the team, our backup for uh, Infernape, potentially, with the Quiet Nature once again. I'm getting really bad natures this run, I hate it. Uh, with Runaway, with Grouse Stomp, Flame Will, and Flame Charge. That is my squad, what are you rocking out with, Burns? So, I'm rocking out my second second string squad, although Barnevel the Noctowl will be featuring in the in the main squad later. I still need to level it up a little bit. So we've got Barnevel the Noctowl. It's rash by nature. Uh, it's got Insomnia as its ability, and it's got Psycho Shift, Air Slash, Extra Sensory, and Uproar. We've then got Sirachi the Jirachi again leveling up, but not going to be featuring in the uh, main team. Um, for this episode, uh, it's modest by nature, serene grace, and it's got psychic wish, thunderbolt, grass knot. Shield, uh, we've got Jericho, the shield on. Um, I'm leveling this up. Uh, it's it's sturdy by nature. Uh, it's careful, so it's careful by nature. It's got sturdy, and it's got tackle, protect, takedown, iron defense. Uh, I've also got whiskers, the barboach. It's Impish by nature, Oblivious is its ability, and it's Water Gun, Amnesia, Aquatel, Water Pulse. I've got Spirit the Mew, it's uh, Rash by nature, it's got Synchronized ability, and it's got Pound, Reflect, Amnesia, Baton Pass. And last but not least, Pikachu, the Pikachu. Uh, it's got a Soothe Bell at the moment, um, it's, it's Gentle by nature, it's got Static its ability, and it's got Charm Surf. I've just taught it Surf, uh, Nuzzle, and Thunderbolt. It's, oh, it's six moves. Oh, it's four moves. Today's plan of action is hopefully we get up to Snow Point, we take down Candace pretty easily, and then we see what our rival is doing at Lake Acuity. But before we can do any of that, we get an encounter right here. So let's go have yes, some fun. We do. Oh, God damn it! That's my encounter. <laughs> and you said about me getting Chingling. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you have to see it. You have oh, to see it. Karma bit me in the ass with this one. All right. Yes. Hey, I get the Meditite. I get the Meditite. Oh, uh, there. Pop a dad joke in. Why not? Let's see. I'll tell you what often gets overlooked. Garden fences. <laughs> God damn it. That's actually pretty good. Thank you. Let's go. We got to get now. Hell yeah. Give me the Medicham. 
There we go. There's the sneasel. Come on, quick wolf. What I am gonna do, Come however. Come on, quick wolf. One, two, three. Let's go. Oh, I like how it's staying the ball for you, and it wouldn't fucking <laughs> stay in the ball for me, would it? <laughs> Fuck you, sneasel. So why is it in Canalave gym you can't go to your boxes, but in this gym you can? All right, Candace, let's do this. Bring it on. Ah, uh, Metacham's gonna be a problem. Um, yeah, it is the Snova lead. All right, well, I know Ponytail's been one-shotting these, so. It's no warning. Wonderful. Flame wheel, faster than it. This should one-shot. Perfect. Okay. Rapidash, one shot. You love to see it. Uh, hail damage, whatever. Sneasel. I actually gotta stay in. I should switch, honestly. I don't know what this thing has. Is that a ponytail or a rapidash now? It's a rapidash, isn't it? Mine's still a ponytail because it's, it's not level 40 yet. Ah, uh, of course. Do you have rock too? Does Sneasel get rock too? I actually don't. That's a good question. Oh, it has dig. Oh, that's actually very bad for me. Um, I don't have a ground resist. That was the reason I wanted Krikatoon, I guess. Um, well, Metacham is not weak to ground, so I'll switch it in. It's non-stab. I don't think it's going to hurt that much, but... That plus the hell do a bit of chub. Okay, so Dig's actually a two-shot on me, which is a little problematic with the hell. Uh, I'm going to Drain Punch here. Bone Claws. Well, you're about to get one shot. You're quad weak to fighting. <laughs> you're quad weak to fighting, so this is not going to go in your favor. You had the blimmin' Chopperberry. You still died. <laughs> nice Chopperberry, nerd. <laughs> uh, that's actually hilarious that he had the fighting resist berry. I guess it made sense. You're quad weak to it. So. Oh, thank you very much, Cricketoon. I knew I put you in there for a reason. Okay. What's next? Matacham. Okay. I think I should have bought Staraptor, but I think Metacham might have Ice Punch. Uh, it's gonna have Zen Edba, isn't it? Well, I have Jirachi that's neutral to fighting and resists the Ice and uh, Psychic, so I think I'm okay. Drain Punch is gonna hurt, though. It'll do a ton of damage. Um, go for Dazzling Gleam here. The faster, which is good news. Uh, get, we don't yeah, quite I'll get, get the intimidate on the on the on the uh, Staraptor as well, so that brings his attack down. Bulk up. That's fine. I'm faster than you, and I'm using a special attack, so you just kind of threw. You used bulk up on me as well. All right. Well, you take the hail damage because you're slower than me. I now click Dazzling Gleam, and you dead because you didn't heal. <laughs> Okay. And now we just gotta deal with the bombers now. Whatever the heck that thing's got. Oh! Oh, fucking hell. Well, the hail's gonna kill. Yeah, I know. God damn it. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Rip guard further. Rip Godfeather. All right. But he's bringing out. All right, a bomber snow. This thing bomber is. Bomber snow now, isn't it? Oh, does this thing have earth power? Oh no, that could be bad if it has earth power. Uh, it might have. It might have earth power. If it has a ground type move, I think I'm in trouble. 
Although Matacham should be able to beat it. I want to sack off Warmblood, though. Be kind of sad. I think I'm faster. Because I'm a negative speed nature. I'll go for it. I am faster. Is this one shot? Oh, so close, Warmblood. So close. Or a valve. Oh, please click that against me and don't click Earthquake. Let's go. I think I actually just win. I think she just threw against me. <laughs> I legit think Candace just threw. Because I kill through Veil here. Blizzard. Oh, rip. Barnaville's gone. Oh, man. Moral of the story, don't bring flying types <laughs> against an ice-type gym. Well, I've beaten Candace. Candace is gone. Ponyta coming in clutch. Who would have thunk it? I am really curious if this thing has Earthquake or something now. Oh, Got the, the burn. burn. Citrus Berry, of course. It's supposed to give me this. Thank you for the badge. Yeah. Oh, it had Earthquake the whole time! Oh, you got so lucky, because if that thing wasn't burned, that might have killed. Oh, boy. That burn was huge. Now you can just flame well and knock it out. Oh, my goodness. This, this thing was not messing around. I feel like if it had Earth Power, it would have been better, though, because Obama Snow's special attack is better. Yeah, we grab this item. It's... Oh, it's Scald? Heck yeah! Ooh, nice. Might give that to Manaphy, actually. Sludge Bomb? Heck yes! Oh, absolutely take the Sludge Bomb TM. Galactic Key, perfect. Okay, that's the key I wanted. So it was here. Dazzling Gleam as well. Well, that's in the TM shop, so that kind of feels a little redundant to us here, but I'll take it anyway. Say what you like, Cyrus, but let's bring it. Time to beat you up. All right, then. What do you have, Cyrus? A Murkrow. Why not a Honchkrow? <laughs> Why not? You're a boss. I feel like you should evolve your Pokemon. I know, right? Um... Level 40, actually, is actually kind of strong. Oof, yeah, he's strong, isn't it? Uh, we'll go to Manaphy. Just because I really don't want Infernape taking, like, a Brave Bird. If this thing has it. Taunt, that's fine. Means I can't <laughs> tell Glow, but I'll take it. Um, Because I can just Ice Beam here. I'm faster, which is good. Clean one shot. Who needs tail glow? <laughs> Who needs tail glow? Exactly. Who needs tail glow indeed? All right, Golbat. Um, it's got a Jirachi. That's super effective, but oh, you! It's a dark type. <laughs> I know. I, I accidentally pressed it. Whoopsie! Uh, that was a crit hit as well. Oof. Nice Ash is a high crit ratio. That's why. That That's how we do the first time. That was kind of risky doing that. I'm not going to lie. That didn't crit any nice last year. You died. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was always faster than it though. I mean, you're faster, yeah. But it, like, if you didn't crit there, he lives. And then, and then the um, Night Slash kills you back. So that was a very risky play. The last Pokemon is a Sneasel. Again, why not a Weavile? <laughs> Mark Bond should okay you. You're quite weak to fighting. And you don't have a Chopper Berry, so you're gone. All right, then. That works for me perfectly fine. Goodbye, Cyrus. That was kind of a disappointing fight. I'm not going to lie. This should kill. Nice. Okay, bit risky there, but kind of worth it. Are you going to be an asshole and be a levitate one? I bet you are. I'm going and gashed it on anyway. Going for Earth Power. 
I knew it. Mm. He withdrew into a toxic rogue. Well, if you're gonna go into toxic rogue, I'll just switch into Jirachi here. Uh, I'm gonna go just for psychic anyway. Oh, he didn't switch. Wow. He had a free switch in the bronze order if he wanted it, but never mind. Satin doesn't like his ace, apparently. And here comes the bronze ore again. Well, now I know your levity. I'm going straight into Infernape and I'm clicking Flame Whale. <laughs> and boom. Down goes the bronze ore. And that is that. Goodbye. Go home. Oh, that was a nice little teleport animation. All right. And while Bond sets those Pokemon free, he will be going to Mount Coronet next time round. We are going to end the episode there. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, make sure to go follow both of our channels and Twitch channels, as well as our subscribe to our YouTubes down in the description below, of course, because that's yep. how you're going to keep up with this, of course. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay awesome. We'll catch you guys next time. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.